Hello again, a new day, a new project and here we are in the middle of a beautiful September day, 20 degrees, the weather is so nice. Here we come, my new major upgrade for my solars, I just got them, three panels. And this is great let's open it up and by the way uh, Leatherman have this proper tool for cutting tape any kind of tape here we go okay there we are So these panels are from Solar Farm model SZ180 on 36, 180 watts, maximum power current 8.1 amps, maximum power voltage 22.07, open circuit voltage VOC 26.33, short circuit current ISC. 6.8 amps and they are 6 uh, 67 centimeters on 123 on 30 so they are pretty pretty nice like dimensions this is made by solar form in netherlands okay let me have a look the other side i suppose here is the connection can we open this probably yes but not now, it's plenty of time to do that with all the diodes and everything. What I know about this, it's a new generation of panels. Let's have a look the way they are. Oh yes, look here, very nice. Super. It's really a new generation, a new kind of panels very interesting design and the weight it's still oh maybe 10 kilos 12 kilos or something nice touch here with these plastic corners I can feel that solid let's have some tests first open circuit voltage 30.3 volts and it's not the angle of course short circuit power test should be like 66 degrees or 30 no i think it's around 40 degrees now so we are testing the current now 5.01 beautiful oh let me try to have a better angle maybe like this 6.89 beautiful 6.9 amps in short they are really really nice okay so i bought only three of these for now thanks to net deal for uh, having this offer to me thank you very much net deal at least two of them will with my existing install one i have it up there That's another generation of uh, panels and that will supply my, uh, my solar installation with at least 300 watts. Here I have the power production without the new panels. So with my existing installation, that's around 950 watts. And let's see now I Put some extra power in so we already have an 138 watts not covered by the inverter we'll see the numbers in a second i'm going up on the roof and tie the other panels together for now the single way to fit this in place it will be to have them down here and there maybe because I don't have a stand yet for 
this but I'll do a rework to all this area and have them properly mounted but I'm really curious about how much power can I gain okay this one looks pretty good for now this one looks pretty okay for now let me find the place for the other panel or maybe over there I don't want the shadow here let's see oh yeah it's in the shadow and here same story so I think this one I will just lay it near the wall for now and I have to get this in the right angle but I think we are okay for now here we are something like this and I have a proper angle right there and something behind so this is just a temporary set So, the panels are now connected in series and I have these cables and I need this to go to the junction box but let's check for voltages first of all which is which so we got like 54.1 volts open and uh, okay this is common that should be plus and it's looking like we have the plus on blue and minus on red okay we need to be really careful about this so this is plus and let's have a little experiment i'll just take a piece of wire like this and take a short make a short Wow, look there, it's plenty of power. It's power, nice. Okay, so I have my junction box right here. And we need to open this up. The thing's been running very smooth four months or even years so I'm really delighted about this okay let me find a place to fit this so we got a plus to fit this in here and now before anything else let's have a test with a top of these wires everything is fine so we can connect the minus. There are no dangerous voltages here, even 50 volts DC, that's not the problem. Theoretically, I should have now around 360 extra more watts of solar panel on duty. That should be okay for now. Let's go downstairs and check the things. Okay guys, if you remember we had around 600 watts here 
if we, uh, let's say, if we have an extra load, we had a rest of 150 watts from the mains. Not anymore. 774 watts. Beautiful. So the panels are working. And even more. Now, let me have a really big consumption here. And there we go. 825 watts. So the panels are working properly and I'm really glad for now. Of course, it needs it needs a better positioning there, but this will come later. Thank you for now. I hope it's useful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. I'll be happy to answer your question. Uh, don't forget also to have fun. This is the most important thing. Bye bye.